Hey guys, how many of you enjoy going to the hardware store? Yeah, I think most guys do. These stores were designed with men in mind. You're not gonna find rainbows and flowers and pastel colored displays. This is a guy's store. And so today I thought it'd be a little fun to reveal the top five manliest products found in a hardware store. Think you can guess what they are? Stick around. Well, if I'm honest, I don't know the first thing about running a hardware store, which is kind of ironic since my dad actually ran the hardware store in our little town in Southern Illinois when I was a kid. My grandpa actually was one of the founders and he ended up turning it over to my dad. And so my childhood was filled with distinct pleasant memories of the smell of lumber and the sound of creaky old wooden floors and the sight of rows filled with tools and pipe fittings. That's why I'm so excited today to have my friend and hardware store owner, Brian Hobegger. How's it going, Brian? Very well, sir, thank you. Good to be with you. Glad you're here. Brian is one of the owners of Hobegger Ace Lumber Building and Supply in Bern, Indiana. Tell us a little bit about your history with the store. Well, Robbie, as I told you earlier, we are a, a family-owned lumber yard. Uh, we're second generation. My cousin, Mike Hobegger, and myself are the owners currently. And um, our dads founded the company back in 1956 together and um, have grown the business. We've had, a, we've had quite a history, as you saw on our history wall. We've gone through a tornado. We've gone through a fire. And um, we've always been able to come back bigger and stronger with the, the blessing of God. It's been a pretty wild ride. So here we are, and um, the Lumberyard has just continued to change and grow, and um, we're excited about it. We, we love doing what we do. 60 plus years, I'd say you're doing a pretty good job. Yeah, thank you. I have a feeling this is a little bit bigger than just a little small town hardware store. Uh, what exactly do you specialize in? We are a full line lumber yard. So we have warehouses full of 2x4s, 2x6s, 2x10s, 2x12s, OSB, plywoods, you name it. We've got it. Uh, steel siding, you know, pole barn metal. It, it's, it's a pretty, pretty um, awesome business. Uh, so yeah, we are a lot of things to a lot of people here in a small town. And um, we've enjoyed growing with the community and uh, enjoy, we'll enjoy to continue to grow. Big time operations, small town feel. It doesn't matter whether you're in the big city or the rural market, hardware stores have a manly feel about That's them. That's right. And when I was growing up, at least when I was a kid, Ace was known as the place with the helpful hardware man. man. And so today I'm hoping you'll <laughs> be that man and share with us your personal five manliest products found in a hardware store. Are you willing to do that? I can do that. Let's get cracking. All right, product number one, Logasol Smart Log Splitter. Well, not all guys who split wood are 20-something. Some of us are in our 50s and 60s. <clears throat> so, the Logosol Smart Splitter takes the effort out of your back. So let me demonstrate. You've got your log. You use a log to set the splitter in place. Line it up with the wedge. Grab it. Boom. Split. My shoulders feel fine. Product number two, the Milwaukee Surge Impact Driver. Sweetest impact driver in the market. Um, what I've got here, a piece of 4x6, this is a screw equal to a 3 8 lag. Nice and easy. Alright, product number three we're bringing out is the Ego Hedge Trimmer. Battery operated. But I want to show you the power of this particular tool. This is a 7 8 wood dowel. Got my handy assistant here. So this will take on any bush you've got around your house. And next product, the Ego Weed Eater. One of the most unique things that I'm gonna to demonstrate to you here is the way you load the string. No more spools, guys. The Ego line comes pre-cut in a 14 foot length and we insert it in one side, bring it through until we're even. Now, push up a button. We're winding. Oh, I wasn't quite in the middle, but now we're ready to attack weeds. All right, and we saved the best for last, the Traeger wood-fired grill. So the wood pellet grill, a little different than your Weber gas-fired grills, that has a hopper on this end where you fill the wood pellets. There are all kinds of different wood pellets, hickory, oak, ash, alder, cherry, you name it. They all give different flavors, different smoking flavors. It's not a fast grill, but if you want to get out there and cook yourself up a nice big hunk of steak or a nice big pot, uh, pork roast, uh, this is the kind of grill to go so that uh, the pellets come through here in an automatic auger. They work their way into the central fire chamber. That central fire chamber heats up and look at that. There's meat. Well, almost. Pictures of meat. But when you do it, it's going to be the real McCoy. So you'll love it. The Traeger Wood Pellet Grill. 
Well, Brian, those are pretty manly items, but you left off one of my favorite products in the entire store. What? The sledgehammer. Oh, the 16 pound <laughs> sledgehammer. Well, you know, Robbie, our store is full of items, 10,000 plus, that could probably all be listed as a manly item by somebody. Hmm. So somebody no, would have their pick. No potpourri or body lotion. Those aren't the manly things you're looking for. Nope. Hmm. Well, one of the things, that's good, because one of the things we like to do on Manly Moments is give away free stuff, and especially when we talk to business owners. And so I'm wondering what you got for us today, maybe a screwdriver or a hammer? Oh no, we got better than that. Everybody could use a drill. Oh my word, so look at nice that. corded craftsman drill. Variable <laughs> speed, five eighths. Great, excuse me. Ha ha. Here's the deal guys, everybody who shares this video, that means you repost it on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or maybe even email this link to a friend, we'll put your name in a hat, and then in two weeks we'll do a drawing, one lucky winner will take home the Craftsman Drill. Awesome. I think I'm gonna enter this myself. You can't. Oh. You're the host. Okay. Sorry. You, but you can win it. But you gotta make sure you share it and make sure you leave a comment that says, yeah, I shared it. Otherwise, I won't know to enter you into the, the contest. It's the honor system, so put down your share, we'll enter you in, and then stay tuned to future episodes where you might be a winner. We'll see you around. Awesome.